Hello guys, welcome to this quick video where we are going to talk about Azure D Kinect DK, the last version, which is 1.2. With this version, you can now build WPF or WinForm C Sharp apps. I will explain in high level how I created the app that you are seeing right now on my screen. Next week, I will be showing you how to work with Azure Kinect DK plus cognitive service. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's begin. Let's go to create a new project, a WPF application, specifically C Sharp. Okay, now we have our WPF application. We are going to add the Nugget package corresponding to Azure Connect DK. That's what we will do. We will browse and search for our Azure Connect. We are going to use the Connect sensor. Make sure that you have the 1.2 version selected and we will install, install this Nugget package into our project. Now that I have it, everything installed, I will go to my main window that SAML and, uh, and I will select the uh, loaded event to start uh, to connect our device to open our device. So inside our window loaded event, I already have what I need in here. So basically, what we need to do is uh, open our device and set the configurations to our camera. If you need to get deeper into the configuration and or on what I'm doing here, you can check it on my post uh, below this video. I will put the link in which I explain all the detail in details what we are configuring in here. Now, as you can see, we are missing a reference, so I'm going to set the using our Kinect, our Microsoft Azure Kinect sensor. What, now that we have already our device open and our configuration set, and we are starting our camera, we are ready to start uh, getting the information from our device. What we need to do now is to get the, the calibration of our camera, both width and height. For getting this information, we are getting uh, we are setting the get calibration method, the color, camera calibration, resolution width, and height. Next, we are going to declare uh, two type of images, um, Kinect images. I'm going to select in here that we are setting this one as our Kinect uh, type image. One we are going to call it transform depth and the other one output color image. Both of them ha have the same parameters in width and height, but one has a format depth 16 and the other color VGRA 32. Let's now declare a, tran a transformation type and create a loop uh, for us to get uh, all the, the information and getting all the images inside that loop. So one thing is I'm going to declare a running variable type bool, which is set to true, that's going to be, that's going to execute while it's necessary. So in my blog, I explain, let me get to the graphic in which I explain what, how the Kinect sensor works. As you can see in here, we need to we already open our device, we already configured our camera, and we already started getting information from our camera. So now to start working with those images, we first need to capture those images. So um, I'm going to declare our capture and I'm going to set the device that get capture uh, method to get a uh, the information and start reading our images. What we have in here uh, is basically we are going to set the capture color value of their camera to our image named color. 
then we are going to create a bitmap source that we are going to assign to our source in here. This method has our pixel height, DPI, and other parameters that you are able to get from the capture color. Okay, now we have our color image and we need to assign it to a uh, a control in our UI that's why I'm going to create an image and I'm going to name it input color image view pane in our C sharp code I'm going to assign um, the result to our input color bitmap and I'm going to assign that bitmap to our source from our control okay so we created the input color bitmap mask now let's create the output color with my task. I will I already have coded in here. As you can see uh, I'm getting information from the capture that we declared. I'm going to get the transform death camera which is the death image to color camera. Then we are going to uh, generate the pixels from each one of them and we are going to create uh, the buffer of those images. After that, we are going to create the, our source with the output color image like we did before with our input color image in here, there. And we are going to assign to another output color image view pane that we created, I already have it in here, our output view image type image. The other thing I just added, just to make sure that the images, each one of them are in different columns of the grid and I assign them a column definition and a row definition. And as you can see, that's it for getting the information from our device. Next week, I will show you how to work with Azure Kinect DK plus cognitive services. So stay tuned.